So you're considering the Asus Zephyrus G14 as your 3D modeling or architecture laptop. Now let's jump right into the benchmarks. As you can see in Autodesk 3ds Max and Autodesk Maya, this laptop is sitting right near the top of the charts. This is because of the latest Ryzen 9 5900HS with its 8-core, 16-thread, high clock speed processor, as well as the RTX 3060. So both of these programs really benefit from those two components working together. As you move towards PTC Creo, it does not benefit as much from high multi-core and multi-thread processing as much as a high clock speed. So that's why we see slightly lower scores in PTC Creo. Now moving down to SolidWorks, what this laptop is missing is a Quadro Workstation GPU. The two laptops that are at the top of my charts in the SolidWorks benchmark are Quadro Workstation GPUs. Because this laptop has an RTX, GeForce RTX 3060, it is not being utilized as much as a GPU from the Quadro lineup. So that's why you're seeing these high gig cards scoring lower compared to the Quadro card, which only has four gigs of VRAM. Now you're gonna see the same thing in something like Autodesk Revit, where you really benefit from a Quadro workstation card more than you're gonna benefit from a gaming card. You're also gonna benefit less from the multi-core and multi-thread processing because most of the tasks in SolidWorks and Revit are more single core focused that need higher clock speeds. So if you're considering a laptop for SolidWorks or Revit, I would consider a laptop with a Quadro workstation. Something like the HP ZBook Power G7 is a great buy. Or something like the Asus ProArt Studio Book 17 or 15 with the Quadro equipped GPU. If you do want to use this laptop for Autodesk 3ds Max, Maya, or PTC Creo, then I have put links in the description below to check the exact availability and pricing. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Until next time, keep creating, keep designing. My name is Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.